you can actually make your CSS more efficient by adding more classes, not less. And that's what I'd like to explore with you just now. I have a simple HTML document here on the left, and it's also loaded in my browser just over here on the right. It's a very simple document. Here's my body tag just down here. Within that, I have three divs. Uh, the first one, for example, is uh, which says red panel content. That's actually been formatted by the class red panel, which you can see just up here in my style section. And then the second and third divs are controlled by these two classes just here. So you can see that there's a lot of overlap between these classes. So if we actually look all of this material here, the width, the height, the padding, the margin, and the color, all of these are the same in all three of these classes. So very inefficient code, because if the boss comes along and asks me to change the width of these divs to say 300 as opposed to 200 pixels, I have to come in here and change all three of these. So a more efficient way to do this would be to, uh, to introduce a fourth class basically a base class for all of these divs. So let's do that just now. Let's go and create generic panel. And I'm going to copy, or rather cut, all of that material from the red panel class. And then, having already pasted it into the generic panel, I'm now free to remove it from the green panel and also the blue panel. Okay, so just a quick review of my code here. So you can see now each of those three classes, red panel, green panel, and blue panel, now do one thing each, and that is to control the background color and set them to red, green, and blue. While the generic panel, the class, is actually controlling the width, the height, the padding, the margin, and the color. Fantastic, so let me save that, come over and review our document, and something's gone wrong, and you've probably worked out. All I've neglected to do here is Generic panel, I just need to copy that and paste that into here. So let's do a quick review. Fantastic, so let's do that for the green panel and for the blue panel as well. Save that, refresh my document and perfect, we're back where we started. So visually, this document looks identical to what we started with, but check this out. Our style is significantly shorter and what's again fantastic now is with most of our assets, most of our properties now described within this generic panel class, if I change the width from say two to 300, save that, come over here and refresh, we can see that change. So much easier to make uh, global changes to things that should generally look the same, except for say one or two features. Now, one thing we should remember guys is this is cascading style sheets, right? So the order of our classes is important. So generic panel, let me say add a background color attribute and I'm going to change that to black. Save that, come over to my document and refresh and of course nothing actually happens. So the way we read the code here is generic panel adds black and then say red panel adds red. So if we come down and look at this first div just here, we first make the background color black and we then make the background color red, so visually nothing changes out here. But what if I had generic panel, I'm just gonna remove that entire class and pop that down here. Now I'll save and refresh over here. You can see everything is now black because generic panel appears later within the CSS, which means that that black background color is getting added last in the visual process just there. So I'm just gonna undo a few steps there, guys, just to get back where we were a moment ago, save that and refresh that. So again, I was just pointing that out to remind you that the order of your classes is important as well. That's it, guys. So um, actually, oddly enough, adding more classes can actually make your code much more efficient and much more easier to work with.